My name is Jay Galvin and I'm a tour guide with Odyssey Unlimited in Ireland. And I'm, today I'm just giving you a little snapshot of the beautiful location in the southwest of Ireland, County Kerry, on the River Shannon Estuary where I live. And when you come to visit Ireland, this is some of the regions that you will be in. And I was going to say something to you in Gaelic now, in our own native language. Ceid Mila Falta, a hundred thousand welcomes. Ireland of the poets, the scholars, our history, our fantastic food, our amazing whiskey, and most of all, our people who make you welcome here, who are our, our natural asset. And when you come here, you will notice how uh, welcoming our people are, particularly to people from the United States of America. And uh, I'm reminded by the words of the famous song by Johnny Cash, 40 Shades of Green. And uh, that is an amazing song. It depicts Ireland completely. And I'm going to read that for you now because my memory isn't great about singing. I close my eyes and picture the emerald of the sea, from the fishing boats at Dingle to the shores at Dunnerdee. I miss the River Shannon and the folks in Skibbereen, the moorlands and the meadows that are the 40 shades of green. That is the reason why we are called the Emerald Isle, because when you come here, you're going to see the 40 shades of green in our wonderful country. I'm here today in Carrigafoyle Castle. This castle was built in the mid-16th century by the powerful local O'Connor clan, cousins to the High Kings of Ireland. This castle is one of 2,000 castles to be seen all over our wonderful country. The O'Connors were powerful wealthy chieftains, located on the river estuary in a very strategic location to collect taxes, duties and engage in smuggling. Their wealth, power, land and influence made them a target for the Queen Elizabeth I, daughter of Henry VIII, she was known as the Virgin Queen. She was an expansionist queen. She wanted control of the Irish chieftains, the Catholic population, and curb Rome's influence in Ireland. And of course, take their money in taxes. She sent General Phelan with his army to Ireland. He attacked Carrigafoyle and other Irish strongholds. He bombarded this castle for three days, captured the garrison, slaughtered all the soldiers and the O'Connor clan. The local people were subjugated for the next 300 years by landlords, land agents, military police until the Irish Republic was declared in 1922. The castle, although it's damaged, is a fine example of Irish castle construction. We had very skilled stonemasons in those days. The walls are two metres wide. The castle is seven storeys high. Two spiral staircases, vaulted ceilings, cellars, dungeons, ornate stonework, its own private chapel, very secure in a very strategic location until 1580, the English canon changed all that. When you visit Ireland on your tour with Odyssey Unlimited, I and my colleagues will do everything possible to make your visit to our, the Emerald Isle a most memorable and joyful experience. And I'm reminded of a few lines of a poem by our famous poet William Butler Yeats. I spread the cloth under your feet, but I being poor have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet, Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. We in Odyssey Unlimited, the Irish Division, are looking forward to, to meeting you when you come to our wonderful country. Until then, stay safe. Thank you for your time.